What's up everyone? Some of you guys have been asking me if I could make a new video on how my live streaming PC actually works because it wasn't really as constructed with the first one I made. So I'm gonna try my best to be like step by step on how I set it up and why I'm using a secondary PC <coughs> to run the live stream where I could just use my personal computer running the live stream and actually I just want to be more complex that's the main reason why I'm using a secondary PC and also because I think it's kind of awesome to have the use of a third PC in my so-called main cave so anyways um, let's get to it and first I think I'm gonna start off with the audio section and then we're gonna go to the capture card and how I set it up with both computers and so on and also the program I'm using. I'm not gonna go through the details on how I set it up through the program but I will post a description uh, post a link in the description where I learn how to use uh, OPS or open broadcast as some people call it and um, you guys can basically go through there anyways let's get to it Okay, so here we got my mixer, which is a Bionet Nox 303. Gonna show you guys that number, guys, that number up there, Nox 303, sounds kind of cool. It's a three port input and two port output, one in the front and one in the back. And in the back, there's a bunch of cables, sorry for the cable cares, but that's how it's set up here by me at Ferris PC Gaming, well, basically where it comes from. And here we got my uh, Phantom power, which is for my um, studio mic up there. Gonna bring it into focus. I'm not having uh, the outer thing going on, so gonna there we go. That's my studio mic hanging over uh, the disc on top of the shelf, so I can move it around and will not get in my way when I, it's not needed. The way I basically set it up, and I'm gonna go behind the computer, um, my main computer, which is. This awesome glorious rig of mine, which is not that powerful anymore, but it's kind of awesome. Anyways, um, here we got the spitter, audio spitter. I'm using a rocket cave, so that's why you can see so many cables, um, which is a true 5.1 surround sound. Got three speakers in each ear cup, I believe. And basically, I'm using the left and right front speakers to go down here to the NOX and it's the same thing at over on my uh, guest rig which is up there I'm zoom it in I'm really bad at this manual focus um, anyhow there's going a cable from that computer which is about 16.5 feet I believe 5 meters long probably more probably 7 meters but it's going under the disc and which I'm also going to show you a uh, cable nightmare here in a moment. I'm not proud of it, but I've been trying to hide them as much as possible. But anyways, that is basically how it works. And sorry for saying anyways a lot, but that's one of the cricket's words that is coming to my mind. Anyhow, gonna go up to the live stream PC. The audio cable is going from the NOX on the, the diamond blade. It's going, to go, going up to the import, uh, not the import, the line in on top of my computer here. I'm going to see if you can get, well, if I can give you guys a correctly overview of it and get it into focus. Something like that. Cool. So, basically, how it works up there is that it's going into the so called microphone input, but it changes to line in and it's not really giving the true quality of sound that I wanted to have, but it's giving sound out and it's working perfectly. So from that notch, we're gonna go from audio to the capture card and also why and so on. So before I'm gonna go over to the so-called capture card, we're gonna go over to my guest rig. Oh, okay, we want to have yet uh, the signal PC, which is my guest rig and also use it myself from time to time when my main rig is uh, well doing some updating or whatever gonna get it into focus here we go anyhow gonna try to explain as clearly as possible on how I set it up with uh, dual screen live stream and so on it's using uh, the first graphic card on top basically that's uh, the single well the middle monitor it's kind of hard to uh, live stream triple monitors then I basically had to have like triple um, well free capture card in the guest work not, not the guest work but the live stream PC anyhow I'm using a DVI splitter 
which is um, going from DVI to DVI, basically to the middle one, that's a white cable right there, and then it's using a uh, DVI to HDMI, just a uh, little adapter, and that was going, and then there was going a DVI cable down to a little splitter that was behind the monitors. Uh, well, kind of hard to like show you guys because I was laying a bunch of stuff behind there. Anyhow, then we go from behind the monitors to under the disc where I told you there will be like a cable case. Uh, it's not that pretty, but it's hidden for the most part. And that cable is going all the way over to the live stream visa, which is up there. I'm gonna get it into focus again. So we're gonna go up to the live stream PC. I'm gonna try to explain this as much as possible. And the same cable, like the same splitter is also going up to this card, basically. This is the secondary computer, the GIS rig, and this is uh, the main computer using. That's how I set it up. Anyways, it's uh, two AVM Media um, Live Gamer HD PCI Express cards. Gonna get it into focus, gonna try to blow something. Here we go. Uh, here we go, awesome. Basically I'm using two Avia Media PCI Express Live Gamer HD. I believe I got the name correctly. Uh, it's an MSI B75 motherboard, uh, 16, gigs of, 16 gigs of RAM from Corsair Vengeance. It, um, it got a i7-3770, not the K version, it's just dock clock and it's using a H40 CPU cooler from Corsair. The box itself, well the case itself is uh, just a regular box that I decided to uh, make a computer out of, which is um, with some locks on and looks really ugly from the outside, but when it's opened up it's really awesome kind of thing, not something you will steal when you're standing there uh, without being open. Anyhow, gonna go from the capture card because that's just the basics, you know, it's kind of complex in a way and then we're gonna go down to the so-called program and I just need to wriggle the mouse over here so it'll be screen okay here we go the program I'm using as I said is uh, open broadcaster and this computer right here is uh, the guest rig with the middle monitor over there I'm gonna get it into focus again here we go and this is my rig well the middle one to over there. Basically, that's how I set it up. And then we got two uh, webcams going on on each side. And the webcam I'm using is a 920 Pro from Logitech, I believe, I believe it's a Pro. Got two of them set up on each side. Uh, I think you can see that one. Gonna get it into focus again. I'm really bad at this manual focus. Well, you get the point, right? Okay, everyone. I hope this video was somewhat introduction, well, helped a lot to understand why I'm using um, saying that PC, well, I wasn't really, that's the thing I forgot to explain. The reason why I'm not using my main viewer, which I could use if I wanted to, is basically because, first of all, I want to have room for my sound card. Second of all, I know right now that I have two GTX 780 Ti's, but I do plan on in the future probably getting a third one, so I do not see the purpose of having my capture card sitting in my main PC, which I could do if I wanted to, but I did not, and that's why I did this computer and not use my main computer. Anyhow, I hope this video was somewhat introduction for you so you can get an idea get the idea on how my live stream PC works and so on and like to use my hand on doing whatever do the dance right hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for upcoming video and hit that like or subscribe button so see you guys in the next one and stay tuned for upcoming videos